All right, greetings everyone. Anthony Davis broadcasting you to you live today. All right, today is going to be a video about the family oracle charts. Okay, so everybody is familiar with spiritual readings and consultations, right? And most people usually get it done for themselves. Perfect. But now we're going to take it a step further and start getting it done for the immediate people in your household or immediate people in your family. Um, whoever you choose to, and also the immediate people in your day-to-day -day activities, okay? So, for example, we're going to give out three key areas for where you should get more information on these family charts. So, let's start with the family, okay? Let's go. So, first and foremost, you got your own reading before, if you have or have it. Now, you want to get your parents' chart done. You want to see the two energies that came before you that made the middle point, which is you, okay? You want to get their charts, you know, the numerology, the astrology, the galactic signature, the odus, all these great things so you're able to see the energies that you came entwined to, okay? And then once you got your parents, you know, of course, you can go further and further, however much you want to go up the family tree to each individual is fine. So at least start with your parents, then come down to yourself, and then what you want to do if you have any brothers or sisters or um, stepbrothers or stepsisters, then you also want to get their chart as well because you're going to know them for the rest of your life, right? Now, you um, also from there, you want to get your children's chart. You know, now a lot of people might feel uncomfortable saying, well, why do I need my children's chart? Um, I, don't, I don't want nobody reading my children, but at the same time, what good and benefits does your family have if only you know about your spiritual Akashic records? You know, that, that doesn't serve your whole family because the spirituality is about serving you and your loved ones, right? So you most definitely want to get your children's chart because one day they're going to be doing the same thing to you. They're going to be saying, well, what was mommy and daddy's chart, right? Because you're raising them into this, this culture. So, um, that type of thing. Thank you. So, um, also your mates, you know, your husband, your wife, um, or whoever your significant other is. Also, even if you are single and you're looking to be with the individual, read their chart. See where y'all line up astrologically. See where y'all stars and positions line up. It's a good thing. See what numbers y'all have and what frequency would y'all resonate with. It's okay. It's you know, you read with your two eyes, like books and physical reality, but you read spiritually with this eye, all right? So you have to read from these perspectives. Um, and last but not least, um, you want to also, let's say if you work a, you're on a job, same job, um, same career, or you work for yourself, whatever, you're, you want to get a reading about the people in your in your day to day activity. So let's say your manager, for example. Let's say you love your job and you work with the manager. It's okay to know that manager's numerology sign. It's okay to know that manager's zodiac sign. That they don't have to know it. You don't have to get deep like, oh, well, what's your sign? You know, you can just say, hey, when's your birthday? You know, just make a simple conversation. And then now you might even ask your coworker, hey, when's your birthday? Now you know how to look at them from this perspective and not just these two perspectives right now you're able to see oh well i know he's such and such so he might be a little sensitive oh i know he's such and such so he might be a little headstrong so at least now you can deal with people's personalities a lot more better so that's all i just want to make a short video it's very important for you to especially if you're the only one in your immediate family that's doing the work and into the spirituality leave your children with this information so they won't have to search and find all this stuff leave it for them right make it easier make each generation easier and easier to get a part of tradition that way it can be strong all right peace